Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the eighth question from lead code SQL interview question. The problem should be very simple. So given uh, two tables called one table called visits, another table called transactions, we have to find out a customer who visited and did not make any transaction. So visit visit table has a, a visit ID and customer ID and transaction table has transaction ID, visit ID and amount. To join these two tables, the common ID is visit ID. Uh, however, the output they need is uh, a customer ID and the count. So, so basically, if you see uh, customer, this output says uh, customer ID 54, which is this, this uh, number of transaction who where he did not make so count no transaction who, who did not make any transaction so two it says two so what all those uh, customer this 54 customer at visit id 5 at visit id 5 he made transactions okay uh, at visit id 7 there is no 7 here so basically he did not make any transaction at visit 8 he did not make any transaction basically this is all information about a customer can come right come to store can walk by can just see and go uh, sometimes the same customer comes and he makes uh, the transaction so basically he they want to know the customers who visited the transactions and did not make the trans any transaction and how many times that happened for this customer if you ask me uh, he visited thrice but uh, once he made transaction but two times he did not make that's the reason you see the output is is 2. So, solution is very simple we just have to uh, count how many times right. So, let us first see how many times a customer has visited. So, we just use group by select what they want uh, is customer id we have a customer id here. So, call a customer id and let us count how many times as of now let us let us only just count will filter out later count right a count as let us say what they want the name as as this from let us say only visits as of now. So, when you are using count so obviously I have to just say group by group by on what what this gives me is let's let's see what this gives me this gives me how many times each customer has vis, uh, visited okay this is wrong obviously what they are asking us if you see 54 it is giving you all all the information three times he visited so what we have to do is um, we have to print out all the customers who are not in this sun not in this transaction table so obviously uh, the customers who are not they, they came but they did not make any so the customer if customer is not making any transactions they will not be here so it is very simple um, I'll just select it's you I can use something like a not in operator there are many ways to solve I'll, I'll just use from this table not in uh, where where visit ID visit ID is visit id i will use not in not in i'll say not in i could have i'll just say select visit id from transaction table. So basically, I want to select the customers who are wh what this gives me, this gives me all, all the transaction IDs, all the trans, uh, sorry, visit, visit IDs from the transaction table. But what I want is I, I want the visit IDs which are which are not here, not in, they are not in all the visit IDs 
or the customer IDs which are here but not here. So that's what it's very simple. Uh, so let's run it. There is an error. It is very simple. Uh, again, remember this is very very important. The coding guidelines which uh, I, I I follow. It's very important the way the uh, code has to be written, the structure has to be written. I could have written everything in one line like this, but uh, make sure that you follow the correct coding guideline, coding guidelines uh, according to the industry standard, so that your code looks good. Your code looks good and neat and clean. This is the best practice uh, we should follow to write a, a SQL query. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.